American Whiskey Experience, Pete James. The Idol. Didn't he do a Rebel Yell? Is that the song? It's a Rebel Yell. Yeah. 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 More, yeah. more so whiskey, maybe. More so. whiskey. That's what he's talking about. Probably. Hey, Probably. so we're going to do something from uh, Rebel. Yeah, so this is Rebel what Yell. Got? And we, we poured already. We did pour already. We wanted to let it breathe a little bit. Yeah, it's you know, the higher yeah. proof. It's nice to get a little, uh, little air in there. Maybe. So this, is, this, is, uh, this is Rebel, Cash Strength. Um, it's a uh, bourbon whiskey from yeah. Green's Farm Spirits of uh, Wallingford and Wallingford and uh, uh, Westport. Westport. Yeah, yeah. Um, so great, great, great picks, great picks from those guys for sure. Uh, big fan. So I have a few of those. So yep. And so do you? Oh yeah, uh, you got more than me though. I think. Yeah, I might have a few. Mm -hmm. I might have a few. So uh, this is a, a Luxrail Luxrail product. Yes. Uh, One hundred and twenty proof. Okay. About four and a half years old. Mash bill on this one is sixty eight percent corn, twenty percent wheat, mm -hmm. and twelve percent malted barley. And the price on this one is about fifty five bucks. So uh, pretty That's good price. Pretty, pretty affordable for a cast strength bourbon. Yeah, for um, one hundred twenty so, proof. Um, I had not had a Rebel product prior to buying this bottle, and I thought I did have a bottle of it. And then we, you know, we talked about it. We looked, and then yeah, I guess not. Yeah, never had one. So no. So uh, you know, yeah. I, I was I'm excited. Uh, I've had this for a couple of months. Um, yeah, you know, dipped into it obviously a little bit, little bit. Yeah, we we um, had a little sample of it last sample week. Last week, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we decided, hey, let's do a video on it. I know there are still some available at, at um, definitely in Wallingford, and I would imagine there's some available in Westport as well. Westport as well. As well. Yeah. Um, in my mind, a, 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 a really solid whiskey. So uh, let's get a yeah. get a look, get a nose. Pretty pretty thing. cool bottle. Uh, I like the fact that they use a cork. You know. Yeah. That's nice too. Classic, yeah. classic. Yeah, enough. Cla yeah. exactly. Um, yeah, I like the bottle. I like how they have uh, Luxro on there too, a distillery, which you don't see often on their bottles. Not always, not always. Uh, I mean, color on this thing is, uh, you know, it's not, not extremely dark, but yeah. uh, just a solid, you know. That's enough talk about lighter color. amber. Yeah, we don't need to talk about color. No, let's put your nose in there. Yeah. Let, the other, let the other guys talk about color. <laughs> you know, um, for, uh, just the first impression, for, for 120, Twenty proof. There's not a lot of ethanol coming out of there. No. So it's it's uh you know which is sometimes you get that strong ethanol and yeah. a little off putting. Ethanol but, booziness. But not yeah, at no all good. No, that's not, not. This is. You know. I um, also think that our nose is maybe a little bit trained. We 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 tend to drink a little bit over. We trained. It's called, called training or drinking. Whatever you want to call it. We. I like to call it training. We call it training. It so our more, audience more, might get a little upset. More, if we more professional. Say drinking. Yeah. More, more professional. But I mean, we do drink more. Our, the stuff that we like to do is, is over a hundred. proof, yeah. Higher no, proof, I think so. we both both. So I think uh, maybe someone new coming in, they smell one hundred and twenty proof. They they smell a lot of that boozy ethanol in this. But I, honestly, it, it's been a while since I, you know, maybe the bottles are better. I don't know, but it's yeah, it, there's not a lot. There's not a lot, there's not a lot there. No, I mean there's a, a lot of pleasant aroma coming out of there. A lot of, a lot of bold flavor. Um, you know, and, and, and aromas uh, for me, it's it's uh, definitely some barrel char, some. Uh, some darker fruit, maybe some yeah. cherry. I get the um, cherry. Even maybe cherry wood. I, that's exactly right. Yep. Yeah. I was waiting for you to say it because I thought you were gonna touch of <clears throat> that cherry wood is definitely there. Um, not not like a dry. For me, it's not a dry cherry wood. Uh, it's more of a fresh, like, like sweeter, bright. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For me, a um, little bit of vanilla. Um, there's something else there. Yeah, the, the sweetness, I mean, I even get a little bit of, like, uh, sweet floral. Okay. I mean, I, I, somewhere in the middle of there, <clears throat> I, I, the dark fruits, the, the barrel char, those are definitely there. A touch of vanilla. But is the barrel a, char strong for you, or is it just like... It, it is. Like, as, as, like, is it? As, like, fully, <clears throat> you know, like, the back end of that yeah. inhale, like, I get a lot of that, that uh, you know, that, that dryness, that, that tannins, um... And a little bit of char, a little bit of barrel char. I, see, I, I can see where you're getting a little bit of barrel char, but it's not. And that's what I'm not calling potent it. Potent for me. I don't know. Yeah. See, maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe, maybe I'm not. Maybe that's not the right word for it. I'm just trying to put words to whatever I'm, you know, kind of smelling. But it, but for me, that's what I, I'm associating. Yeah. With. No. And and your palate's a little bit different than mine, and everyone's is different, so that's great. Let's that you see that. Yeah. Let's go put it. Hey, cheers. cheers, everyone. <clears throat> it 
So for me, it's 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 it's. Uh, I'm gonna jump to this one real quick. Yeah, it's, for me, it's it's um that that liquid brown sugar. I get a little bit of that. I get a little bit of a, a slight orange zest on there. Okay. Um. See, I'm I'm getting for for me. I, I still uh, that um dryness. That ch cherry wood. Yeah. That char, that creamy vanilla, um, and that. There's some, there's some orchard fruit there, or some dark fruit that I'm not sure what I would call it. I wouldn't. I don't know if I could at this point specify what it is, but the flavor is pretty big and bold. Yeah, it's, it's a mean, lot it, there. It, it, um, I mean, you you name some other stuff that's definitely there for sure. Um, for me, again, it was that it was that brown sugar, liquid brown sugar, that came up a little bit of creaminess, maybe a little butter. Mm. Like there's a, there's a cream in there's the dry, middle. There's the middle no dry there. tannins for sure. Yeah. Um, but huge, bold flavor. There is a lot of flavor. And I think this is one, I mean, I, I obviously I've put a little bit in the bottle. You um, sure have. I might have. Um, this is one, the longer I sip on it, the more these flavors develop. Yeah. And, and you um, marked this too. I did. Like uh, a couple it, months, two, February? It says, uh, it says two yesterday. <laughs> yes, this morning. Yeah. <laughs> on no, his way here. On my way here. Uh, <laughs> no, um, I, I, I have found like um, the more I sip on this, the more flavors develop. Um, the deeper those flavors run, for sure. Um, yeah, I get a little cinnamon on there. I get like a on the finish, or, or um, on the well, somewhere in between. I get like a little French toast on it. Really? Yeah. I'm getting a little bit of French toast on there. Uh, somewhere between French toast and Golden Grahams. Remember the, the cereal Golden yeah, Grahams? Okay. Um, and the French toast, uh, similar crunch toast. Somewhere. Interesting. So if you like, like for mid, me. Like mid palate? That, that yeah, sweet. yeah. So if you okay. took both of those and like morphed them into one, somewhere between cinnamon toast and, and, and the other one, it's, it's, yeah, a little bit. For me, mid palate, is, the sweetness is, is mid palate. I'm still getting um, a little orange. You're not getting any orange zest on that, though. Not not strong, but you know the, the fruit. The, the, it's on the, 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 it's the, on the nose. There's a little dark fruit, and, and, I, and I can't pinpoint what it is. Um, not not apple. Yeah. Not, uh, you know, it, it's not plum. Know. No. It's not that. You know, I, I just I can't I can't pick it pick it out See, right for now. For me, it's 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 kind of like a the, that dark cherry wood though is still is still yeah I it's, still, it's I still huge get, on there. It could be dark cherry, it could be it could be black cherry. Yeah, maybe. Um, I still know. I still get a little bit of, of an orange in this. I don't know if it's it's not a sweet orange. It's kind of like it's zest. What is that? Blood orange? No, that's kind of sweet too. Is it like is it more like the zest more that bright? It's kind of like an orange one. It's not like fully ripe. Okay. You know, something right. like somewhere around there. I mean, uh, tangerine type. It's not right. Like I said, the finish is, is relatively long. Um, it definitely um, packs a punch. It's got the good flavor. Lingers, nice. lingers for a while. It drinks um, like 120, though, for me. It's got a little bit of it. Yeah, I mean, like, you could tell it's not 100 proof. Yeah. You know. Um, do you think this tastes like anything that you had before? Wow, um, you know, in a, in a strange way, um, so, um, I because I asked that question for a reason because I think no, I think I'm, I'm going I'm going to yeah. go somewhere. Yeah, it's almost like Russell's Reserve. So I was uh, I was a, a, a little bit in some qualities. Yeah, like the Russell Reserve, the single barrels. Um, I, I was I was going. It just there. reminds me of that. I, yeah, I, I don't know, I, and, and it's not like similar properties, but it, it is, I guess, in a way. I was going there and also a little bit of the higher proof uh, Elijah Craig's that we've had in the past, the barrels. Yeah, I mean, there's, I mean, for 55 bucks, the flavor yeah. that's in here. Yeah, there's I mean, some flavors in there. But the Russell's is where I was, that's why yeah. I asked that yeah, question. No, there's, there's I know you, you really I enjoy love, the Russell's. I, I do, I do. And for me, I mean, if I did a blind test, would maybe, it, it, it'd be close. I wouldn't, I don't know if I would, there's some characteristics of a Russell in there. This is one of those ones that I think if we were to sit here and have two or three glasses of this, I think you'd go, oh, wow. Yeah, I found that. Yeah. Oh wait, this is in here, and it just gets. It, That's yeah. awesome. It is. It is. Like I said, if you're gonna choose one pour, and have a couple of them, uh, this is I think outstanding. Yeah. Um, you know, and I, again, I'm obviously I'm a big fan of Green Spark Spirits, and I I have purchased a number of bottles of them, picked from them. A couple of dozen. Mm, shh. Uh, just a few. 
Yeah, just a few. And uh, just and so the audience knows, I only do a couple. <laughs> While you want, yeah. no one believes it. Yeah. Um, yeah. But honestly, no. This for for fifty five bucks, uh, a cast strength bourbon with a bold flavor that lingers, and you has multiple layers where you yeah. can kind of really appreciate this. This is a win for me, no doubt about it. Yeah. So. For the average person coming in and, and picking up a whiskey, I wouldn't recommend this one as a first or second choice, it, but... Well, it depends on what you're using for proof. I mean, listen, if you're you know a, a 90 proof whiskey maker's mark kind of guy, maybe not. No, no, no. There's so much more to this. Yeah. Um, but not that you can't enjoy the flavor. I mean, listen, I mean, I don't know if I would, I would mix this, but if you were going to make a Manhattan or Old Fashioned with this, probably would be great. Yeah. Probably be great. I'm getting a lot. I getting that sweet oakiness at the end of it. It's nice. Yeah, it's really, it's it's a, lot, really a lot of that cherry wood. It's like the, yes, the, it's, the, that's it's, dark cherry. It's from the front all the way throughout. There's that, cherry that, in that there. That brown sugar, the, the, some dark yeah. fruit in there. Uh, I'm not sure what the dark fruit is because I'm not. I, I don't know what I, 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 yeah. I, I'm calling it that, but it could be something else. Yeah. But that, Interesting. the sweet is not like caramel sweet for me. It's more no, fruit, this, fruit yeah. sweet. It's good. You know, and like I said, it, it could be that old cherry thing, that, that dark cherry, but to me it's very, very good. And to be honest, I passed by it when it first came out because I'm like, Rebel, I never heard of Rebel. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lux Row, I know them. Yep. It's big umbrella. Yeah. But, you know, I just didn't, you know. So what'd you buy this? So, price point, Wait. palette, finish. So, so, yeah, so, so for me, it's, uh, which way you like best? So, hold on. You might have to pour more of it because it's gone. <laughs> so. You must have liked all of it. I got a little bit of nuttiness on there too now. Nutty? Yeah. You're going to get it too, watch, I promise. I'm nutty, but not that nutty. And I bet you if I dropped a. That's good. That's good. Before you get too nutty. I bet you I dropped a, a, a drop of water in there. It's, mm. the nuttiness is going to open up a little more. So. For me right now, I'm going palette, nose, finish, as how I like it. The order you like it in? Yeah. Okay. To me, it's pretty well so, balanced. So, I, no, it is, but I think for me, the palette brings out more than the nose. The finish is good. I guess if I had to pick one yeah. aspect of it more than the other. What do you do? The palette's phenomenal. Yeah, so palette, really the nose, finish for me, um, or... But Palette, but finish it's, nose. It, it's it's but, they're about the same. But it's balanced very it. well. No, know, it is. The nose is a nice approach to what the palette is. Mm -hmm. And the palette is outstanding. Ooh. A drop of water really made a difference. And then the finish lingers with some of the residual flavors in the palette, yeah. which I, I like. So the <clears throat> a drop of water for me, just real quick, added some char to it. Yeah, see I initially got um, some a bit of And some of that there. peanut. I got I got some of that. Dry peanut in there. Hmm. Um, dry peanut? Yeah. And the finish is dry. It dries out. The finish is a little drier now with, with a drop of water in there than it was before. So for me, I would, yeah, for, back to your answer, I would buy this in a heartbeat. Heartbeat. Um, I'm disappointed that I, I, it took this long to buy this bottle. Buy uh, so I will buy it. Yeah. I might buy a backup. It's, I like it that much. Yeah. A backup? Yeah. yeah. Back up to your backup. A back up to your backup. Yeah, I so it's I, I enjoy it, and I'm, I'm glad we reviewed it. You're gonna kill this bottle probably. In about a week give, or two. give me a week. Give me a week. Yeah, <laughs> I, I would you know, listen. Um, so good. Yeah, obviously, uh, uh, you know, for those who follow us out at the state and stuff like that, you probably won't be able to get. But this what if you pick, what if you, but if you do find a cast Rebel, Rebel Cash Drink? Try it. I would pick it up. Um, I'm gonna also look for some other products from them from Rebel too. They I want to see what they, they have. have. I believe there's a Rebel like hundred proof with a bottle of Bond. Okay. That I'd be interested in trying. Yeah, I'll try that. Uh, um, but but this is a lot of flavor. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I yeah. like it. Cool. So yeah, I I buy it. Price point is perfect. Fifty five bucks. It's over hundred proof. It's one twenty. A lot of flavor. Why you can't beat it. Flavor. You can't beat it. Anyway. So what do you think? You gonna buy it again? I will probably buy a back if I like it that much. I did. You should get one. I'm going to buy a bottle. Anyway. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all that fun stuff. Follow, like, subscribe, comment. 
Love to hear some feedback. Yeah, some feedback. Uh, support, um, support your local stores. You know, for sure. Some of the store Connecticut picks. or wherever you are, New York, California, Arizona. Uh, don't be afraid. Colorado. Don't be afraid to try something new. You know. And yeah. that's what you did, basically. I did. Right? Yeah. I did. I did. So, good sure. Thanks yeah. again. Appreciate yeah, the support. Thanks. Thank you. All right. Thanks.